Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following magic square puzzle. A magic square is a square of array of numbers, usually positive integers, in which the sums of the numbers in each row, column, and both main diagonals are the same. In this example, we have to write the numbers 1 to 9 in each of the squares below so that each row, column, and diagonal adds up to 15. In the first box, we have a 3x3 three three square box with the numbers 6, 5, and 8 already inserted. We've been told that only the numbers 1 to 9 are to be used for each box. So, I'm going to strike out the numbers 6, 8, and 5. Starting with my first column, we've been told that each of the row, column, or diagonal add up to 15. So to find the value of the empty box, I have 6 plus the empty box plus 8 equals to 15. 6 plus 8, that's 14. So I have box plus 14 equals to 15. Therefore, to find the value in the box, we are going to move our 14 to the right hand side and that all becomes minus. So I have 15 minus 14, therefore the value in the box equals 15 minus 14, which is 1. So I'm going to replace that with 1. I'm going to go to the next available box um, using the diagonal in this case. The diagonal also adds up to 15, so I have 6. plus 5 plus box equals to 15. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus box equals to 15. To find the value in the box, I'm going to move my 11 to the right hand side. So that's 15 minus 11. Therefore, the value in the box equals 4. So I have that as 4. For the next column, I'm going to strike out 4 for my list. I have 2, 3, and 7 left, and 9. Then I'm going to use the last row, and I have that as 8 plus box plus 4 equals to 15. 8 plus 4, that's 12, so I have box plus 12 equals to 15. If I move my 12 to the right hand side, it becomes minus. So it's 15 minus 12. Therefore, the value in the box will be 15 minus 12, which is 3. So I have that as 3, and I can strike out 3. Then I'm going to go to the middle row. For the middle row, I have 1 plus 5 plus the empty box must add up to 15. I have 6 plus box equals 15. To find the value in the box, that will be 15 minus 6. I'm moving my 6 to the right hand side. It becomes negative. Therefore, the value in the box will be 15 minus 6, which is 9. So I'm going to replace that with 9. I'm going to take out 9 as shown. I have two more boxes to go. I'm going to fill that with 2 and 7. So the next box to fill, I'm going to pick my middle column. My middle column, I have 3. That's to find the missing box. 3 plus 5 plus the missing box equals to 15. 3 plus 5, that's 8 plus box equals to 15 and to find the value in the box I'm going to move my 8 to the right hand side that becomes negative therefore my box equals to 7 so I'm going to change that to 7 and because I've used up all my numbers except 2 the last box will automatically be 2 let's look at the next example 
for the next example i'm starting with the first row to find the value in the box i have 9 plus 2 so i'm starting with my box plus 9 plus 2 is equal to 15 9 plus 2 is 11 so i have box plus 11 equals to 15 moving my 11 to the right hand side that's box equals 15 minus 11 therefore the value in the box will be 15 minus 11 that is 4 so i'm going to replace that with 4 i'm going to pick the next column that's 4 box and 8 i have 4 plus box plus 8 equals to 15 I have box plus 8 plus 4 that's 12 equals to 15 so therefore to find the value in the box I'm going to move my 12 to the right hand side so therefore my box equals 15 minus 12 which is 3 so that will be 3 I'm going to pick the next in this case because I have a lot of three boxes together I'm going to use the diagonal 8 box and 2 that will be I have 8 plus the box in the middle plus 2 adding up to 15 it's plus 2 is 10 so I have box plus 10 equals to 15 and to find the value in the box, I'm going to move my 10 to the right hand side, it becomes a negative. So that's 15 minus 10, therefore the box equals to 5. So I'm going to replace that with 5. So the numbers used so far, I've used 4, I've used 9, 2, 3, 5 and 8. I'm left with 1, 6 and 7. I'm going to use the middle row or the middle column such that I have 9 plus 5 plus the empty box equal to 15. 9 plus 5 is 14 plus box equals to 15. And to find the value in the box, I'm going to move my 14 to the right hand side becomes negative. That's 15 minus 14. Therefore, the box equals to one so i'm going to replace that with one i'm left with two numbers that's six and seven then i'm going to pick the last row it's one and box for the last row i have eight plus one plus the box equals to 15 eight plus one is nine so i have nine plus box equals to 15 if i move my 9 to the right hand side it becomes box equals to 15 minus 9 therefore the value of the box will be 6 so i have that as 6 and because i've used all my numbers except 7 the last box will automatically be 7 thanks for watching bye